Hi, today I will teach you how to use advanced installer to build MSI and MSI X packages for your applications. The first time you launch advanced installer, you will see the start page. From there, you can select the project type to get started. Just make sure you've selected the developers filter. To build your package, you can start from an empty project, as we'll do today or you can use one of our predefined wizards. All of the predefined wizards end up creating one of our professional enterprise or architect projects in the end. But they help you get there faster and easier by guiding you through a set of custom steps designed to fit your application. Let's create an empty enterprise project. Today, we'll package one of the tools built by the advanced installer team the MSIX Troubleshooter. In the Product Details view, we will customize the application details. This is the information that your users will see in the list of installed applications in the Control Panel. For MSI packages, you can also customize the package type from Install Parameters view. Here you can choose between building 32 or 64-bit applications packages and decide if you want to install your application per user or per machine. We're done here, so let's go to Files and Folders view to add your application files and shortcuts. Let's add our binaries to the project. You can add the files directly in the project or you can configure Advanced Installer to automatically get all the files from a specific folder. So if new binaries are generated during development, Advanced Installer will automatically include them in the project. Now, let's create a shortcut. We need to select the target application for our shortcut. And update the shortcut name. And since we don't have any other application arguments, this should be enough for now. Depending on the technology used to build the application, you might need additional software installed, for example, a specific version of the .NET framework. You can configure your setup package to install this software from the prerequisites page. From this page, you can add one of the pre-configured prerequisites, as we'll do today, or you can add your own custom prerequisites. You can also configure your setup to install missing Windows features with just a few clicks. Many applications use the registry hive to store application information. From the registry view, you can easily configure the registry entries that will be created when your application installs. Just select the target registry hive and add the values you need. There are many other configuration options in Advanced Installer and it is easy to feel overwhelmed the first time you start using the application. To help you get started easily, we recommend you use the left menu toggle to hide or show views that you are not using. And the search box to find the options you need or video tutorials that teach you how to use Advanced Installer. Ok, we have our first version of the project ready. Let's build the setup package. You can start the build directly from the toolbar, from the command line, or directly from your build pipelines using our native integrations for Visual Studio, Azure DevOps, Jenkins and others. Let's go to Builds view and customize the output package. Then create the multiple builds from this project. For example, we'll add an MSIX as output for our project. Notice that the moment we add an MSIX package as output, a set of views was added to our project in the left menu. From there, you can further customize your MSIX package with just a few clicks. Now let's build our packages.
For MSI packages, you can customize the installation dialogs by picking one of our predefined themes. Just go to Themes view, explore your options and choose the desired one. Congratulations! You've just packaged and released the first version of your application. This is just the beginning. You will be releasing new versions in the future and you want to make sure all your users stay up to date. Using Advanced Installer, you can integrate and configure an auto-updater into your application in less than 10 minutes. Here is how. First, you need to go to Updater view. Here, you will enable the option to check for updates using Advanced Installer. This will automatically add an executable into your package, along with a configuration file that stores the options we'll set in this view. The most important options from this view are the URL updates configuration file and how you choose the updater to be executed. You can have the users manually check for updates, as we'll do today, or you can have a scheduled task to run automatically. We're done here. Since we picked the option to let a user do a manual check for updates, let's go back to Files and Folders view and create a shortcut for the update. Just right click on the new updater executable file included in your project before installing our first version and checking for updates. Let me show you how you can create the configuration file that you need to host on one of your servers at the URL specified earlier. An update configuration file is generated by Advanced Install. Just go to Start page, select Updates and create a new Updates configuration project. In this project, we need to declare each new update our application has. Let's say we've built version 2.0 of our application. We need to declare a new update, then select the MSI of the new version and set a few options in the project to inform the updater from where it can download a new version. That's it. Now we build the configuration file and deploy it on our web server. Now, let's install version 1.0 of our application and check for updates. Remember, we've chosen to use a shortcut to check for updates. So let's go to Start menu, scroll down to our application and hit Check for updates. By default, the updater displays this dialog. If you wish, you can also choose to run it silently and show your own custom messages based on the return codes received from our update. Now the user just needs to hit the next button and the update will be automatically installed on their machine. So far, we've seen how you can work with Advanced Installer directly from its own user interface. Now, let me show you how you can create and build your Advanced Installer project directly from Visual Studio. First, make sure you have installed Advanced Installer on your machine. Then go to Visual Studio and install our official extension. Once the extension has been installed, we are ready. In this demo, we have loaded the MSIX Troubleshooter solution and we want to add an Advanced Installer setup project in this solution. First, we'll create an empty project using the template installed by our extension. As you can see, this project does not contain any files or customizations. We could start editing directly from Visual Studio and add our binaries in the project, or we can do it directly from the Advanced Installer UI using this little shortcut. However, since we already have an advanced installer project file, let's use that one. 
First, we need to remove the empty advanced installer project file that was generated from the Visual Studio solution. Then, we just use the add existing item option to include our existing project. As you can see, Visual Studio has loaded the project with all of its customizations. Now we are ready to build it. And here it is. Our MSI gets generated every time we build our solution. In a previous demo, we've seen how you can use the Visual Studio extension for advanced installer to build your setup packages. Now, let's push our Visual Studio solution into our Azure DevOps repository and create a new pipeline that builds it. First, make sure you've installed our advanced installer tools installer task from the marketplace. This task is the one that will build the advanced installer project that we added to our Visual Studio solution. On the marketplace, you will notice that we also have another task called advanced installer build. This one is designed to build advanced installer projects when you are not using a Visual Studio solution. So for our demo, we have the project as part of a Visual Studio solution. Therefore, we'll just need the advanced installer tool installer task. We've installed the task and now we can create our pipeline. Let's use the classic editor for this demo. This is our demo repository for today. It actually contains the same MSI Extra Bushetter solution you've seen in our Visual Studio extension demo. Now let's create this as an empty pipeline. The first task we'll add to this pipeline is our advanced installer tools installer task. Then we'll also add the Visual Studio build task. Before we save and queue our pipeline, let's also configure the license key for advanced installer. For this, we'll simply add a new variable, set its value with the license key you received when you purchased advanced installer and save it. Now go back to your advanced installer task and add your new license key variable and you're done. The last step requires you simply to select the Visual Studio solution that you want to build. For this demo, we are building the same MSIX troubleshooter solution. Let's select it. And that's it. Just save your pipeline and you're done. For more tutorials, please browse our official YouTube channel and the online user guide. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.